Hello everyone, it's me and Clayson. I just finished watching Tresse, which is the newest Netflix anime series based on a Filipino comic of the same name. And I gotta say, when it comes to a lot of these Netflix animated shows that are basically just, you know, violent cartoons for adults, I was thinking that the animation style looked a little bit like the Id Hun Chronicles to me, which I heard was terrible, so... I was kind of skeptical when it came to how Tresse would work in animation. But ultimately, I, I had a pretty good time, even if it has a few caveats. Let's get to the story, shall we? The story is about Alexandra Tresse, voiced by Shay Marshall in the English dub, who has to defend the human world from the, from the underworld creatures who are coming in and and slowly breaking the accords that that are supposed to protect humanity, the accords that were created by her father, Anton Tresse. She does this with her two bodyguards, who are these two brothers that have masks, a little creature lives in a manhole named named Nuno, and a bunch of other a bunch of other creative characters. As basically, initially, it seems like the series is more episodic, as Alexandra takes on a different case in the first three. In different cases in the first three episodes, until the plot becomes a little more focused when you realize all these cases were brought forward by the main antagonist, who manages to show up near the end. It's not a bad story structure, but at only six episodes, it does mean that certain plot elements do feel like they're a bit rushed. Like, if, if the show was like 12 episodes long, it probably would have been able to flesh out these things a bit more, or at least at a better, at a better pace, because it feels like there's a lot of great action throughout all the episodes, but they save a lot of the important exposition until like the last episode where the main villain just spells out a lot of the backstory for our main heroine. It kind of reminded me of the end of Seis Manos, you know that show with Powerhouse Animation? Great show, but it also has a, lo a lot of really drawn out dialogue scenes, especially from the main villain, which it's good that the main villain's played by Steve Bloom, so he at least sounds cool when he's doing them, but it does feel like it takes a while to get to the point in that regard. Almost like a lot of these dialogue scenes that are just the main villain, uh, you know, just monologuing seemingly, it feels like those are there just to pad out the runtime to make it to make it at minimum a six episode series where each episode has to be, you know, like a half hour long. So it's around the same length as Yasuke. And, but thankfully I liked most of the other aspects of the series. The animation, while not spectacular, and I could see that some of the lip flaps were a bit off on the English dub, the animation's still pretty good when it comes to the action scenes, which is where it's the most important. Uh, most of the characters that Tresse finds herself with are ones I liked. I liked this police captain, Guerrero. I liked his subordinate, who who, who gets some great moments together. I like the various spirits that Tresse uh, interacts with, and the ones that help her out. And I really do like the variety of different cases that they have. So one as Tresse taking on demons who are kidnapping humans. One's a race against a horse person. Another deals with an actress with a dark secret. No two cases feel the same, and honestly, I think the first three episodes were kind kind of sucked me in a little more than the last three. But all of them were still pretty good. It's just that the last three episodes deal with an arc that essentially has plot twist after plot twist, and some of them don't make a whole lot of sense, but others feel a little more draw, drawn out. But I will say that... It was really cool learning about Filipino folklore and learning about all these creatures that I previously had no knowledge of. So, if there are other Filipino comics like Tresse that come out, I'll be, I'll happy I'll happily see their animated versions because I ha have to say this one wasn't perfect, but it got me to want to see more. And considering the cliffhanger that it, they end the first season on, I hope they do other seasons if this one does well. That's why I'm going to give Tresse a 7 out of 10. See you next time.